Hi guys! I just realised as I was sat watching the dog play with this weird toy ball thing that makes a racket that I managed to, on my channel, introduce the dog, introduce my disabilities and not introduce myself. You know, the person that does all the communicating on this channel? For some stupid reason didn't occur to me to actually introduce myself first because for some stupid reason managed to introduce the dog and the conditions I have and give information on said conditions in my sensory box etc never introduced myself so I'm gonna do that now and hope that one it's not too late for people to realize that I made a mistake in not introducing myself first and two hope that I make sense because as per usual when I'm tight uh, when I'm filming my videos it is currently 25 to 7 I'm exhausted, I've been up way too many hours, taken my bedtime meds far too early because my clock and my Fitbit don't seem to want to tell me the real time sometimes. So I'm getting very, very, very tired very, very quick, hence why I hope I make sense. And the, the chaos that I look like is legit just because I haven't slept enough, I haven't brushed my hair today. I don't bathe until the evening, so that hasn't happened yet. I am dressed. Like, I am dressed. I, I like to wear my dressing gown in the house because it's warm and soft. So I am dressed, I promise. Like, that is the one thing I do do every single day is get dressed and wear my glasses and do all the hygiene stuff that needs to happen every day. Just a little bit of information, really, before I started rambling. I knew that it happened. Okay. <laughs> My name is Hannah, um, actually you can probably see it up there, I think it's probably upside down on YouTube, but um, Jake is my assistant's dog who you've previously met and who <laughs> makes appearances in my videos because my dog doesn't understand boundaries. I am, um, well I originally started this account a very long time ago, I can't remember what year, I'm pretty sure someone will see down below. And it was shocking because I got bored within five minutes of trying to remember to do things. I got distracted. I still get distracted really easily. I didn't know what to post. I didn't feel great about posting because I just hated myself a lot. And in all fairness, the videos I put out because I couldn't figure out the computer I had at the time were crap. But hopefully now I've grown up a bit. I know how to use YouTube better now. I don't edit my videos before anyone says anything because in all fairness I prefer my videos to be raw and real than edited chaos or in between. Like I'd much I much prefer to not edit my videos and give everyone that opportunity to see the real me and the me that's filming rather than the me that's just gonna get frustrated with editing because I would believe me I would um I turn 27 this year I won't put my birthday on the internet because that would be really stupid but I turn 27 this year in November I recently moved into independence well not complete independence because I do have additional needs which do mean that I do need support. I have support workers that come in and out my house up six out of seven days a week to help me with daily living tasks and helping me to learn to cook, taking me to go shopping, taking me to do the things that I need to do throughout the week, supporting me with phone calls, communicating and all that sort of stuff that comes with social skills that I really lack because the autism don't do well with communication skills. Um, I do go out and do things on my own but that's more leisure activities like I dance. At the moment obviously because of Covid-19 I don't actually leave the house to dance. We do it over Zoom which if you don't know is like Skype just you have to pay for it which is really annoying um 
I used a trampoline, a trampoline for years before I got fibromyalgia. I got really sick and could barely move out of bed. I love ice rinks. I hate loud noises. I love my dog for obvious reasons. But I do have at home with my parents, we do have a cat. We have a Libby cat who is a black cat. Um, she did have a mum, but uh, Lucy, who we also adopted, who is her mother, um, wasn't the smartest cat in the world. She fell asleep in the middle of the road and got knocked over. So now we just have a Libby. Which is fine, I love the Libby just as much as I love my Jakey. And just as much as I love the Libby, uh, the Libby's mummy, Lucy. But it's not the same. I love a number of things. I love my pets. I love dancing. I love colours. I love drawing, writing, braiding hair, fairy lights. NCIS, that's a big thing, something I love and I do watch all this every day. Um, baking, I love. Cups of tea, another big one I love doing. I love reading, especially at night. I don't know where that comes from, bearing in mind my brother doesn't read. Uh, my sister, sorry, just doesn't read. My parents read, but they don't read actual books. And I love soft, comfy clothing, which is partly why you'll probably always see me in my dressing gown. Because I rarely take it off when I'm in the house. I go out my house to do my activities, come back in, chuck my shoes off, and chuck my dressing gown on. As soon as I get in, regardless of the day, regardless of what I've got to do the next day or throughout the day, if I'm in the house, my dressing gown is on. Which is why you'll see me in a lot of videos in my dressing gown. I, however, there are things I don't like in general. Some of them are seen as because of my autism. Other times they're probably just seen as childish. I don't care. I hate the dark. I hate loud noises. Love the colours of fireworks, but absolutely hate the noise. Um, I hate cooking because I'm crap at it, and because last time I did, I tried. To, I uh, managed to blow up the microwave because I couldn't understand the instructions and there was no one there to check. I do not like strong scents. I don't like perfume unless it's a very specific scent. I don't like too many people, so crowds is not great for me. I hate crowds. I hate crowded places. Um, I hate being cold washing i mean who likes laundry anyway but it's just a bane of my life when it comes to living independently i freaking hate laundry apologies you're probably hearing the dog he just tossed his ball under the sofa again and i am not faffing with it for like the ninth time in a row today it is getting ridiculous and there is enough gap for him to get under there and get it and i know he can do it uh so i'm not doing it for him I love, love, love baths. I love taking baths. They're so calming and relaxing. They help me function the next day. I love reading, um, but I don't like reading on electrical devices. Book all the way. It has to be a book. Will not read on an electrical device unless it's necessary. I love books. Granted, they're most of them are childish books, but I still love books. Um, I don't like loud noises, as I've said. I don't like paint. I don't like the smell of paint, although I do like painting. And I, I don't like scary things, so I won't watch the news. I won't watch YouTube channels that talk about the news. I won't watch scary things about war. I certainly won't read anything frightening. And that's nothing to do with autism, that's nothing to do with anything that's happened, well it is kind of, to, that's happened to me. It's more to do with my NLD, which means that I've got a very, very logical, literal view on the world. And I do have some, what others would see as irrational fears. So things like the dark and the news and a book that's scary. 
I'm terrified of them. I refuse to read them. I don't look at the news. I don't do anything like that because I know I will just get scared. And actually, talking about conditions while we're on that note point, I'm just going to say exactly what I've got so that I don't have to have a conversation eight times over and I don't have to keep reminding myself what I've got because they're all written, well, they're all um, spoken out on video. And it will stop the questions of, do you just have autism, or do you have this, or what's this? Just makes life easier for everyone. I have autism, I have what is classed as moderate to severe autism. I have non-verbal learning disorder. I've got ADHD. I've got asthma. Allergies to citrus and nuts and peanuts. I have primary polydipsia. I have seizures which are still getting under investigation. They don't actually know what type they are yet. Because apparently no one seems to understand that not every single one is going to be visible under every single place. I have type 1. I have... Oh gosh, it's hard. Motor coordination dysfunction disorder. Again, totally separate condition. I will make a video on it. Eventually it will happen. I have hypertonia, hypothyroid, and I'm trying to think, do I have anything else? I'm not sure I do. I'm pretty sure there's some others that I've been diagnosed with throughout my life that I just can't remember right now because I don't have my diagnosis information with me at the flat. I don't actually have it in front of me. It's at my parents in my... Uh, old bedroom in a chest I think I don't know what they will have done with that since my dad now seems to have commandeered my old bedroom as his man cave essentially um, and I can't go looking for it until COVID-19 is over with so I won't know what they've done with it until then and I also have very specific, oh, I have very specific sensory issues which also contribute to the way my disabilities affect me and the way my world is viewed for me and the way that I deal with the world around me. So it's not an easy journey and you add in things that have happened to me in my past like abuse and neglect and assault and a few other interesting tidbits um, that I will again endeavour to make a video about if and when I can when I've got a bit stronger and maybe when I'm less tired I will make a video about that but that including sensory issues impact my world very very much impact how I deal with the world they impact how I deal with people they impact how I deal with the rest of my conditions and they impact the way others view me as well at times depending on who they are but that's not going to stop me from being who I am just the same as it's not going to stop me from needing the supports and the accommodations I do need I am still going to be myself I'm still going to be Hannah I'm still going to need to have additional accommodations in place and I'm still going to be disabled regardless of what I do regardless of my past regardless of my present or my future that's who I am I am Hannah yes I'm disabled but that shouldn't stop you from being kind that's all I really wanted to say I just wanted you lot to know a little bit about me before you all made up your mind that I was some crazy person because I'm not be grateful if you could if you stick around for videos if you don't that's fine but if you do Give us a subscribe and a like so I know you're actually alive and not just pretend a uh, percentage of people who actually interact with me. Um, and the dog, obviously, because Jake makes an appearance nearly all the time because he is my dog and as soon as he wants something he'll come and say hello. You will see him more depending on where I film but it's usually in this corner. So yeah. If you like it, give it a like. If you like the video or the channel, give us a subscribe so I know you're not just a ghost follower. And I will see you guys later. Bye!